It's not family. It's good. It's your brother Coop. Happy Moon Day. I'm memorized up bright and early. Just going on my regular, regular early rising walk. Get my regular legs up and running. What's going on with y'all? I just want to do a little quick chat. Um, you know, starting the day out, how important it is to tie back into the earth. You know, it's a very, very good idea when you wake up in the morning. <clears throat> Let the sun hit your face or, you know, even if it's not uh, sunny outside. Come outside barefoot. Come outside barefoot. Walk around the grass or put your feet in the dirt. For, for for 25 minutes 25 to 30 minutes you know what I mean just to start your day uh, it's called screwing in you know what I'm saying because it's energy coming from above and then there's energy coming from below so best way to get that natural charge in the day is to tap in tap into the energy source think about the earth like our socket if the earth is a is a suck if a the earth is a socket then all we gotta do is plug in once we plug in we get our charge boom then we can get busy into our uh, life's work or life's goals for that day that's moving us closer you know what I'm saying to our uh, to what we want to create to the heaven we want to create on this on this earth plane because we back y'all so if you're not if you're waiting for someone to create your heaven on earth for you your, your, your heaven ain't coming. Your heaven ain't coming. If you're waiting for a Christ to return back from the sky and to cease all things and stop all things, he's never coming. He's never going to come because you're standing still waiting when you can do it right now. That's why there's no one coming. There's no entities coming. It's all you. No one's coming to save you. You got to save you right now. You know why it's got to be you? Because you can do it right now. You don't got to wait. Why are you waiting for someone or something to do, do to do the work for you? You want something else to do the work, but yet you want to reap all the benefits that come with the hardship and the, and the experiences that you gain from the actual work. That don't make no sense. Don't it make the don't 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 the fruit taste that much sweeter if it's coming from a tree that you planted and took care of and raised? Come on. But see, some people don't have that type of appreciation. That also goes along with national principles and standards. This is not just for Moors, this is for people of all nations and nationalities. Everyone has national principles and standards. <coughs> everyone we can't be shy to <coughs> we can't be shy about um embodying that because no one else can embody the national principles of moors like we can because we are actually moors we're the actual true descendant bloodlines from those people so we literally just got to be we don't got to try to become anything a more is what you are right now. A more is someone who's in their higher self, who's doing their best to live in righteousness and to do the best, and you know, produce the most positivity and leave their mark on the on the on the uh, planet. All right, give me one second. I don't know about you, but if you ain't here, if you ain't here to be remembered after you after you transition, what are you here for? Like for real, what are you here for? If you ain't here for your children to think about you proudly, like yo, so my great great grandfather, cool. Yo, my great great grandfather, cool. Oh man, grandfather cool. Oh, he was uh, like, you don't want that? I want that. I want that. That's my legacy right there, G. That's my legacy. So, essentially. A more is one who is seeking to embody everything 
that they can which resembles that of the creator they want to embody everything the good and the bad the good and the bad not just the good you want the good and the bad you know why because in existence you don't just existence doesn't just operate with just positive if it was positive and there was no negative there is no existence because it takes two to tango you got me it takes two not one the same way it takes two a mother and a father to create not one all right so we got to understand that we can't just want the good and negate the bad we got to take the positive and the negative because both are necessary to cause that friction that causes a current called electricity right that flows and then the energy can be can be generated not created but generated matter of fact let me use a better word than generated so that the energy can be manipulated okay because energy can't be created nor destroyed it can only be manipulated that's it that's it you can only manipulate it into different shapes and forms that's it that's it all right so we got to get back to our indigenous roots because our roots are beautiful and everyone everyone um you know bills or has the ideas that they have based on indigenous principles believe it or not you know what i'm saying all these so-called let me can i flip it no all these so-called states of all these like uh, uh states of the way they're constructed these uh, so-called streets which are really roads these streets and highways and all this stuff these were our indigenous pathways that we made you know what i'm saying the agents of the united states simply uh what you would call it they simply saw the design right once they got rid of all the uh uh, indigenous peoples and replaced them with Native Americans you know what I'm saying they took all of our designs and just added to them made it made the, the trade road larger that way you can put automobiles and vehicles on the road now now this is a highway before it was just a roadway you see what I'm saying and every state so-called state of is it looks the same yo all the states look the same. Like the general makeup is the same. They all have a, a city, right? They all have that city, like, you know, big skyscrapers. Like this is the area. This is like the metropolis. They all, all the states have that. All of the states have that. Oh, shit, look. All of the states have that. So, you know what I'm saying? So it's really... Like I said, up to us to tap back into our own shit. This is our, this is our work, man. So if you don't want to manipulate the energy for your, and wield it for your own good use, you know what I'm saying? To save yourself. You got to save yourself. You got to save yourself, man. Can no one save you for you? Best we can do is help each other, but can't really do the work for you. Because it's all, it's all energy. It's all energy, so no one can, no one can, everyone's energy is unique. So if your energy is the energy that's required for a task, then your energy is the key to that lock. You know what I'm saying? And if the key ain't fitting, that means you got to get it reshaped. That's all that means, but it's only your key that's going to open that lock. So you still got to get it reshaped, and you still got to move forward and open that door. And, you know, in some doors, you can't just bust open. Some doors, you actually got to come strategically and open. You know what I'm saying? You know why? Because you don't know if there's a, a, 
You don't know if there's booby traps after you bust down that wall. Okay? You bust down the walls, attach the damn C4, the whole damn room explodes. You, so you can't just go in there and just, God, ready to cause damage. You got to think, man. And so this is what we are. We're navigating. You got When you're in water, can you just put it like this? Put it like this. I'm going to make this clear. <laughs> Let me clear this up right now. <clears throat> when you're in water, right? And you're, you know, you're trying to um, navigate yourself and something starts to go wrong. What's the f one thing they say not to do? The one thing you should never do in water is panic, right? Never panic. Always remain calm. So just imagine that this life that we live here, you know, it looks like we're on um, surface. All right. So just imagine that this is water. We're in waters. Okay. So since we're in waters, okay, and I'm not talking about right now. Right now I'm on land. But what they call, you know, consider doing uh, trade or commerce, that's what they call admiralty. So they will call that waters, right? That's dealing with trade and vessels and stuff like that. So that would be dealing with admiralty and commerce and uh, maritime, admiralty and maritime. So essentially, that's just dealing with commerce. I'm not doing commerce right now. I'm just talking to my family. All right. So. But <clears throat> in that aspect, dude, like us being on the land, you got to understand that when you're in water, you can't panic. So when we're actually doing our work and we're moving about trading and doing what we got to do to progress our realities forward, like I said, create our heavens on earth, you know what I'm saying? We're in the water. So what are we doing? We're moving around to try to make what? As much waves as possible so that the universe can send them back. Right? So we can start creating. So we got to make noise. But not panic. You can't panic. You got to know what you're doing. And even if you don't know what you're doing, you got to figure out what you you got to figure out what you need to do to survive without panic. Don't panic. Cuz the faster you panic in water, the faster you drown. All right? That's what the whole thing is. That's why everything is so fear-based. Because once you're already in, the, in, in a diaspora of fear, then the first thing you go to is um, panic or anxiety or like what they call a, a fight or flight. What they call fight or flight. All right? Now, understand that <clears throat> flight is not an option. This is what you got to comprehend. There is no flight. What do you mean fight or flight? It's just fight. It's just fight. It's kind of like, you know, when they when when, when they uh, bring up that thing uh, Shakespeare said, to be or not to be? That is the question. The question for who? Does the body say, does the body breathe in and breathe out? Or does the body say to be, to breathe, or to hold a breath? Or does the body just naturally keep on breathing? Inhaling, exhaling, because these are the subconscious things that the body's doing that we are not consciously in control of, like my breathing. My body's, my respiratory thing is working on its own. That's my body doing that. So is my body saying to be or not to be? Like if I hold my breath, right? If I was to hold my breath right now, my body at some point is going to start getting that feeling where it's going to say, hey, I want to be. I want to be air. Give me some air. I want to be. And then the longer you hold it, you start seeing certain changes in the face. The face might get a little bit darker, more red. Eyes my eyes might start to pop out. Things like that. Because the body wants to be. The body wants to be. Nature wants to be. Nature never wants to not be. Okay? So to be or not to be is not the motherfucking question. It's just to be. So being... You can't be in a state of peace if you're in a state of panic. All right. This is not what this knowledge information is for. It's not it is not to cause people to panic because that is the one thing that the United States wants. They want people to go to go to to to, to stay in a place of panic, especially if you've read the King Alfred Rex plan. They're banking on people panicking. And then those Negroes who's going to be taking the streets, who are tied to this American continent by heritage and who are going to be a formidable foe, they're going to play right into the game because they're going to panic. 
And the one rule in water is as soon as you panic, the quicker you drown. So panic is not the solution. Panic is not the solution. Analyze. Look at it. What is this? Because people go into panic before they even know what they're looking at. Look at it. Whatever it is, the situation and all things that come along with that situation, analyze it first. Then make a conclusion. Hmm, this is what's going on. Then from there we can say, okay, so how do I resolve this issue? How do I resolve this issue? Even if you feel like you need to pray, then pray and say, Lord, help me resolve this issue. Don't pray and say, Lord, resolve this issue for me. Because the Lord ain't coming to do that. Okay? You need to say, and I'm not saying you need to say, you should say, if you truly want to bring that magnetism towards you, right? You should say, help me do the work. Not do the work for me. Or give me the grace to endure. No, give me the grace to do the work. When you're doing the work, you're simultaneously enduring, okay? Because the work ain't easy, y'all. Uplifting fallen humanity ain't easy. And uplifting fallen humanity is really uplifting yourself. So if you like uplifting yourself and making your life better, then helping other people do the same ain't going to be hard because you're really just talking to yourself at the end of the day. I'm talking to myself. There ain't nobody around me. You know what I'm saying? My mistress is inside, baby inside. They still sleeping, about to get breakfast ready. Just dropped the young one off at his last year of so-called public schooling because from this point, it's going to be homeschooling. You know what I'm saying? So there's no crowd around me. I'm literally standing here talking to myself and the sun and nature. But I know when I publish this, the rest of the world will get to see this. So now I'm talking to the world, but really I'm talking to myself. And when I publish that video, that's just me, myself, relating to you because you see yourself in me. Because we all want the same thing, which is the best. We all want the best for ourselves. So that's all that is. That's how, that's how we relate to one another. I want the best in me. I want the best for me. You want the best for you. So everyone that you see that embodies that, that's where you're going to see yourself at because that's where you that's where you that's where you visualize yourself at already. So when you see someone like that with with the second and the third eyes, that's when that trinity happens and it's 